Let's see how we can solve this quadratic inequality. 28 minus 3x minus x squared is greater than or equal to 0. So to solve quadratic inequality, we are going to follow these steps. First, we would like to solve this kind of quadratic inequality. Namely, I want to factor whatever I have on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, I want to have 0. So on the right-hand side, we have 0 already. That's good. But on the left-hand side, this is not being factored. So the first thing is, we can do a tic-tac-toe. Because here we have three things, right, three terms. We can factor this out by using tic-tac-toe. And I'll do that for you guys right here. And notice that even though this right here is done in the standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c, but then as long as uh, you have a number uh, x and x squared, <laughs> it's still going to work. Tic-tac-toe will still work. Let me show you if you don't believe me. So think about what time so I'll give you 28. And the answer for that is uh, 4 and 7 the correct answer, okay? Because you may use 2 and uh, 14, but then let me just tell you the correct way is 4 and 7. And then think about what times what will give us negative x squared. And the choice for that is negative x and x. And this is how we're going to put it. I'll put on negative x right here and pass the x right here. Negative x times pass the x will give you negative x squared. And then 4 times 7 will give... Um, give us positive 28. And this is the correct combination because if you look at 4 times x, it's 4x, and negative x times 7, that's negative 7x. Combine these two, uh, two terms, 4x minus 7x, that will give you negative 3x. So you know this is correct. In another word, to solve this, it's the same as saying, let's just write this down as 4 minus x, times 7, and this is a plus x. And I'll maintain greater than or equal to 0. And now, this quadratic inequality is in the form that we'd like to look at. So, first thing, we would like to find the numbers that we care. Namely, we'll just solve the regular equation. So, right here, and you can just eyeball it, or you can just you know, do some work to show it. So right here, I'll really write down the two numbers that we care in this case is that I want to see 4x minus, 4 minus x, sorry, 4 minus x is equal to 0. When will that happen? And secondly, I want to see x plus 7, well, 7 plus x, when will that be uh, 0? And then to do work right here, I can minus 4 on both sides. So this is negative x equals to negative 4. And then I can divide by negative 1 on both sides. So that I will end up with plus the x equals to negative 4 divided by negative 1, that's positive 4. And then right here, 7 plus x is equal to 0. So if, it's, if we minus 7 on both sides, x will be negative 7. So these are the two numbers that we care in this case. And then we plot these numbers on the number line. So I'll do it right here. And we have to make sure to put down a smaller number on the left. So here we will put down negative 7, let me write this down better, right here. I'll put on negative 7 right here, and then 4. Let me just write it down right here. And what kind of circle are we going to use? Either close or open. It all depends on the symbol. Here we have a greater than or equal to, because of equal to. So I'm going to use close circle right here, and close circle right here. So that's our setup. And the rest is, we are going to test each interval. So, we are going to select a number that's less than negative 7, and you can tell me negative 8, negative 10, doesn't matter. And let me just do it with, let's say, negative 8. So this is the number that I'm going to use. I'm going to use this number, plug into this x and this x, to see if I end up with a true or false statement. So, right here, sometimes once in a while, maybe when you have too many negative signs, just write down the, uh, the numbers, the computations. It's easier this way. If I plug in negative 8 into x, I will end up with 4 minus, and the x I'm using is negative 8. So it looks like this, right? And then I will multiply with plugging negative 8 into this x, which is 7. And plugging negative 8 here is like same thing as saying minus 8. And we get greater than equal to 0. And the reason I want to write this down is because here we have a small trouble, negative negative 8. Be super careful with the sign. 4 
minus negative 8 is the same as saying 4 plus 8, which is going to be 12. And more importantly, this is going to be positive 12. And then here, 7 minus 8 is negative 1. And most importantly, we're just going to care about the sign, negative 2. And do we end up with greater than or equal to 0? Positive times negative is negative. A negative number is not greater than or equal to 0. In another word, this power here is false. OK? And now we'll just check the middle portion. Pick a number between negative 7 and 4. I will just choose 0. And I'll plug in 0 into this x. And this is pretty easy to do, because 4 minus 0 is 4. And most importantly, it's positive 4. Plug in 0 into here, 7 plus 0, which is 7, and that's positive 7. Positive times positive, do we get greater than equal to 0? Yes, we do. So this right here is true. And we are going to color in the true intervals. So I'll just do it like this. And for the third part, I'm just going to pick a number bigger than 4. And hopefully you agree with me, we are going to use 5. So plugging 5 into here, 4 minus 5 is negative 1. So I'll write down negative times plugging 5 into this x. 7 plus 5 is 12. And more, more importantly is positive 12. So this is positive. And is this greater than equal to 0? Well, negative times positive, the result of this is negative. A negative number is not greater than equal to 0. This right here, it's false. So we are not going to color this in. And this right here will be the graphical way to present the answer. This is pretty much it. But then, interval notation business, right? This is the only interval that we have, and this is how we are going to do the interval notation. The starting number is negative 7, and then the ending number is 4. We include the negative 7, so we are going to use bracket, and we included the 4. So we are going to use a bracket. And this means x is in between of negative 7 and 4, and we include the negative 7 and the 4. And this is it.